Animated films have a captivating way of igniting our imaginations, and there is one franchise as cherished as a vintage car at the world's greatest racetrack. That is, of course, the Cars franchise. With Pixar's Cars franchise seemingly preparing for a comeback, here is everything that we know about Cars 4. Years have passed since the first film, so obviously there's a lot of excitement for Cars 4. For those who haven't seen the film a thousand times, Cars is about Lightning McQueen, a talking race car who gets lost in a desert town while traveling to a race and must perform community service before he can leave Radiator Springs. Eventually, after spending time with the locals and gaining some humility, the arrogant racer falls in love with the tiny community. The likelihood of a fourth feature film was hinted at by the producer Kevin in 2017, which sparked speculation about the return of Cars to the big screen. He addressed the difficulties of making a sequel, saying it's worthwhile to invest in as long as there is a compelling story to tell. And since then, we've heard nothing. Cars 4 news has not only been sparse, but essentially non-existent. Many anticipated that information about Cars 4 would be released as soon as possible after the Cars on the Road series debuted on Disney Plus on September 8th, 2022. Nevertheless, nothing was revealed about Cars 4. The most concrete announcement regarding Cars 4 to date is Owen Wilson's 2017 remarks during the Cars 3 press tour, in which he stated that he would be open to another entry. Apart from that, there's been no news of a new car Cars film. It's a little surprising that Cars 4 isn't happening. With Cars toys and merchandise among the studio's highest earnings, the Pixar film series is highly ranked. Cars 4 is still a possibility, but it most certainly won't be coming anytime soon. Since nothing about Cars 4 has been formally confirmed, it is really unrealistic to expect a release date earlier than 2028 or 2029, to be honest. Over several years, Pixar released several sequels to their most most popular properties such as Finding Dory and Incredibles 2. The producer, Mark, however, announced that the company would be returning its efforts to creating original products following the release of Toy Story 4. However, this was before the announcement of Inside Out 2 and Toy Story 5, so Pixar may be changing its plans once more. As we wait official updates on Cars 4 development, we can't help but make assumptions about the movie's potential plot lines and potential new cast members. We all look forward to any updates on the fourth movie because it combines a sense of nostalgia and excitement for the future that only a series like this can provide. Although there is no confirmed cast for Cars 4, some assumptions can be made based on previous Cars films. Owen Wilson will likely reprise his role as Lightning McQueen in Cars 4. Mater, played by Larry the Cable Guy, would be joining Wilson for Cars 4. In a 2020 interview, Larry the Cable Guy stated that he would be happy to revisit the franchise in the event of a new film. For the Cars 4 cast, it would also likely makes sense to resurrect Cristiela Alonso as Cruz Ramirez. In Cars 3, Lightning was aware of his advancing years, and it appeared that both the franchise and Lightning were preparing for Cruz to be the next big thing. In Cars 3, Lightning was aware of advancing his years, and it appears that both the franchise and Lightning were preparing for Cruz to be the next big thing. Not that much older, In fact, but... I call you my senior project. Alonzo hasn't mentioned coming back for Cars 4, and nobody besides Wilson and Larry the Cable Guy were hinted at at a potential return for a subsequent installment in the series. Cars 2 introduced a memorable new character, even though it may be a major setback for the franchise. During the World Grand Prix, Lightning McQueen's primary opponent was an Italian Formula One car named Francesco. Francesco, a hilariously conceited racer who can't resist insulting Lightning when whenever he can, is voiced by John Turturro. It would be fantastic to see the character return as Lightning's ongoing annoyance, even though he ultimately demonstrates some redeeming traits. His name is Francesco Bernoulli. No wonder there's a crowd. The brief examination of the racing era in Cars 3 was among its most fascinating features. As part of the narrative, several of Doc Hudson's former colleagues are introduced, including Louise Nash, an elderly female racer. Louise is instantly more interesting than the other main characters, despite her brief appearance. She describes how, when the sport wouldn't let her, she overcame obstacles to become a female racer. The series should allow a character like that, and we do not doubt that she will be going 
going along with Cruz. The plot of Cars 4 is still completely unknown, though Cruz Ramirez will probably be the main character once more. Cruz was raised in a small town by her mother, who instilled in her the value of dreaming small or not at all. She had big dreams, though. Ramirez watched McQueen race on the world circuit and wished she could be a race car. She might have had the talent, but she lacked the bravery, believing the other cars were faster and bigger so she would never win. Because she's too scared to be in the real world, she now works as a trainer and uses a simulator to get all of her vehicles up to race standards. And just as McQueen never thought he couldn't do something, Ramirez never thought she could. Throughout Cars 3, Ramirez helps McQueen come to terms with his inevitable aging and tells him that while he may not be able to outsource Storm in speed, he can outrace him in strategy. However, McQueen is having difficulties and refuses to acknowledge the truth of his circumstances. He only recognizes that Ramirez is a person and starts treating her as such when she finally loses it and lashes out at him, telling him about her dashed dream. Inspiration gradually turns to a two-way street in which both parties boost each other's self-esteem. Would Ramirez be able to fulfill her dream of racing? Will McQueen triumph once more? The answer is perhaps on both counts, but the intriguing part is how the racing franchise might develop from this point on. For a fourth film in the franchise that started 11 years ago, is it really possible for McQueen to play the best race car in the world? Because of the nature of their careers, athletes must retire earlier than most people. So it makes sense for Pixar to retire Cars, who is already facing the aging factor. If McQueen so desired, he could then pursue coaching, following the footsteps of many former athletes. That makes room for Cruz Ramirez, a new vehicle that aims to be the best. Although Storm is a fantastic character and we might see him return, Ramirez is delightfully charming and soon will be intriguing to a younger audience. In a world where men predominate, she is also a woman. This could increase the Cars franchise's appeal to girls, but it also conveys a strong message about Pixar's attitude towards women in sports. Naturally, this does not imply that Pixar should or would abandon McQueen in favor of Ramirez as the primary race car moving forward. After the second Cars movie concentrated more on Mater, a lot of talk was focused on how Cars 3 is McQueen's film once again. Lightning McQueen is a very well-liked character who sells billions of dollars in franchise. Realistically speaking, he will always sell more merchandise than Ramirez because he is a man and Cars are primarily popular with boys. Therefore, it would seem to be the best to have Ramirez and McQueen as a double billing. In light of this, it also provides Pixar with the opportunity to carry on with the storylines of other new characters from Cars 3, like Sterling and Jackson Storm, and perhaps even discontinue some of the more established ones. Given his popularity and close relationship with McQueen, Mater might be able to stay, but the others might have reached the end of their useful lives. Although the outcome is uncertain, we do know that viewers will witness McQueen and Ramirez embark on an exciting journey as they investigate the origins of racing and race in completely different settings. Both characters will change as they come to understand the significance of racing. And who knows, perhaps McQueen will come to accept a new role as Cruz's mentor. That would be a nice way to wrap up his story while continuing the series, wouldn't it? Last but not least, there isn't a trailer for Cars 4, despite what I know you guys expect. There is, but it's unreal. Therefore, everything else is merely fantasy until Pixar or Disney releases an official trailer. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next video.